In this short demo video, I'm going to run you through this exact drywall takeoff and show you how to do it using the tools available on Connex. By clicking the three dots at the bottom right of the thumbnail, you'll be given the opportunity to clone the page with and without measurements. For this example, I'm going to do it without measurements and you can see that we have a fresh page with which to do a new takeoff. You can then rename your pages. In this example, I'm going to rename it drywall takeoff. Now for some of the housekeeping, on the left hand side you can scroll between your plans, you can choose the line width, this can be handy later on, I'll show you how to use that in a minute. Importantly, the page scale on Connex is automatically set as a quarter inch is equal to a foot. You can choose from the drop down menu here any page scale you can think of. Best practice is to make a known length to make sure that the plans are calibrated. If that matches up, then you know that the plans are good to go and every measurement you do going forward will be correct. A new feature we've just added is the keyword search. In the top left here, I'm going to type in something simple such as gypsum and it will show me how many pages that keyword is on and how many times it appears on that page. This is going to be really helpful in making sure that you have all of your materials accounted for in your takeoff. Now let's get down to the takeoff itself. I'm going to show you how to use the count function here. So you hit new count and we're going to put in corner bead, give it a color, give it an icon with which to represent it on the plans. And if it's something that you're going to measure every time you upload a project to Connects, you can save it to your favorites. This will associate it with your account and will be available for you to use on every project you upload going forward. When you have corner bead selected, all you need to do is click on the canvas where you see the corner beads and it will appear in the measurements drawer on the top right. Now for our walls. So we're going to click the link tool, select new group, input the group name 58 type X walls at 11 feet high, give it a color, again give it a favorite if it's something you measure all the time, and this time you want to select what unit of measurement it is. So for the walls we're going to select square foot. Once you have the group selected, you go to the point on the canvas to start, click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction, and double click to finish the measurement. You'll see it appear in that folder in the measurements drawer. Here is where we can increase the line width. By increasing it, you'll be able to see it more clearly on the plans and you'll be able to make sure you have all of the walls marked off. When you have all of your perimeters marked off, you can check the blue box in the middle of the measurements drawer. This will give you the option to input an additional height, width, depth or pitch. So because we know that the walls are 11 feet high, we can add it to this box here and it will give us the total square footage of the walls for drywall. Now let's get the ceiling area measurement. Because we already have this group in our favourites, it is available for us to select. The polygon works like the length, click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction, and double click to finish. This will close the loop and give you the area of the ceiling measurement. What you can do on Connex is get the perimeter of any area you want. Simply check the box beside the folder you want to get the perimeter of, and you will be given the perimeter button at the bottom of the measurements drawer. We can rename this whatever you want, in this example, molding. You can also duplicate any measurement on Connex and rename it. You will be able to treat this differently with the height, width, depth or pitch or apply different rates once you get to the quote section of Connex. Next, I'm going to show you the annotation tool. Simply click the annotate button. It will automatically be selected as text. You can choose what size you want that text to be and you can leave notes for yourself or your contractors on the plans. This can also be for the guys on site so as you can make your instructions really specific. Keep in mind anything you do on the canvas will be sent to you via markup PDF in your email. So again this is really handy in avoiding disputes or mistakes when you get on site. You can also use the arrow feature to point to exactly what it is you're referring to, the cloud feature to highlight big parts of the plan and you've also got your highlighter tool. As I said, these will help you avoid mistakes and there will be no doubt about it when you get on site what you've quoted to do. When you've finished your drywalling takeoff, you can send it to the quote feature and submit a professional estimate and win more work.
This has been a really quick example of how you can use the tools on Connex to do your own drywalling takeoff. You can apply these tools in any way you can think of to help you do your takeoffs faster and submit professional bids.